हेलो एवरीवन न्यूज पेपर्स एंड जर्नल्स न्यूज पेपर्स एंड जर्नल्स ऑफ द नाइनटीन एंड ट्वेंटी सेंचुरीज पब्लिश इन इंग्लिश एज वेल एज इन द डिफरेंट वर्नाकुलर लैंग्वेजेस फॉर्म एन इंपॉर्टेंट एंड ऑथेंटिक सोर्स ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन फॉर द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ हिस्ट्री ऑफ मॉडर्न इंडिया द फर्स्ट अटम्प्ट टू पब्लिश न्यूज पेपर्स इन इंडिया वेर मेड बै द disgruntled employees of the east india company who sought to expose the mal practices of private trade for instance in 1776 william bolts being censured by the court of directors for private trading resigned from the company and announced his intention to publish a newspaper the official response to bolts scheme was strong and his plan ended before materializing In 1780, James Augustus Sikki published the first newspaper in India entitled The Bengal Gazette or Calcutta General Advertiser. Sikki's press was seized within two years owing to his outspoken criticism of government officials. Afterwards, many publications appeared such as The Calcutta Gazette 1784, The Madras Courier 1788 and The Bombay Herald 1789. The newspapers and journals of the early period primarily aimed at catering to the intellectual entertainment of the Europeans and Anglo-Indians. From the second half of the 19th century, many powerful newspapers appeared, edited, published by distinguished and fearless journalists. Interestingly, nearly one third of the founding fathers of the Indian National Congress in 1885 were journalists. Some of their publications were the Hindu and Swadesha Mitran under the editorship of G. Supramanya Iyer, Kesari and Maratha under Bal Ganga Tilak, Bengali under Surendranath Banaji, Amrita Bazar Patrika under Sushir Kumar Ghosh and Motilal Ghosh, Sudharak under Gopal Krishna Gokile, Indian Mirror under Anand Sen, Voice of India under Dadabai Navaraji, Hindustan and Advocate under G.P. Verma, The Tribune and Akbar Ayam in Punjab, Hindu Prakash, Dhyan Prakash, Kal and Gujarati in Bombay, and Shom Prakash, Bangan Vasi and Sadarani in Bengal were other noted newspapers of the time. Indian nationalists and revolutionaries living abroad published newspapers and journals. Indian sociologists, London, Shamji Krishnavarma, Bande Matram, Paris Madam Kama, Talwar, Berlin Virendranath Chattopadhyay, and Gadar San Francisco Lala Harjai all to infuse the feeling of nationalism among Indians living abroad. Newspapers depict almost all aspects of life in colonial India from around 1870s onwards. From the 1920s onwards, Newspapers track the major events during the freedom struggle. However, newspaper accounts cannot be seen as unprejudiced or completely objective. The accounts that were published in a newspaper in London by the pro-British Raj people were bound to be different from the report of in an Indian nationalist paper. Please like, share and subscribe to support the channel. Thank you. Bye.